I've been saying for the past three episodes that we've been building up, building up, setting up, the calm before the storm, stuff like that. But with how last episode ended, I know shit's about to go down. Real quick, before we hop into this episode, can I just say Merry Christmas to any of those out there who celebrate Christmas. Happy holidays for anyone who has any holidays that they celebrate this time. Hopefully, no matter what, you're just spending time with family, drinking water, getting lots of rest, being safe, staying protected, all that sort of stuff. Thank you guys oh so much for 40k. Your guys' support on all the videos, but specifically these Attack on Titan videos has been crazy. I've been getting non-stop nice comments, non-stop likes, non-stop tweets all this other stuff just saying how much you guys appreciate it. and i appreciate you just as much so thank you huge shout out to you guys thank you dapper squad for 40k means a lot with how last episode ended with aaron kind of philosophizing it's not even a word but falco he was he was teaching him all this kind of stuff which i did call falco cult a couple of times i got roasted in the comments i apologize guys i'm just so in immersed in the episode you know but um i love how it immediately showed um, Falco being one of the main reasons, probably the main reason why Reiner didn't commit suicide, saying, I still have these guys to live for, and then him going to Aaron, and then Aaron just straight spitting actual bars. He's like, if, if anyone knew that this is what it entailed to go to war, losing losing your freedom, being so damaged, just horrific stuff in a war. No one would ever do it, but also it's not their fault because it's really just the situations that they've been put in and everyone fights for it. And he's saying people who, people who want to know what's truly beyond the hell, is it hope or is it another hell? Are only people who push forward? And it would show him showing that awesome, like, oh my, shit's gonna go down. I know it, I'm excited. All I'm going to say before we hop into this, guys, is my typical plugs. Remember, if you guys want full length of this episode, all on, you know, uncut in the corner, full transparency, all that, check out that Patreon down below. It supports me so much. It's always available in the description. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you could just leave a like and then uh, leave a nice comment down below for the algorithm so hopefully more people can see me and more support because you guys are so fucking awesome. I appreciate you oh so much. Let's hop into this. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, too. I, you guys are awesome on Twitter. Let's get into this. Attack on Titan the final season episode four or episode 63 from one hand to another he seems all happy going by the owl's name i love it oh he's doing him a favor so he's gonna go back to hq or go wherever he can to send this letter Oh, that is awesome. Oh, wait, that, yeah, that makes total sense. So I firmly believe this is some recognizance, some espionage going on, but that makes a lot of sense as to how he's going to get this out to Armin, Hanji, every, Levi, all the other rest of the squad is because he is stuck in the internment zone. Only The only people who have extra benefits to be able to leave are the candidates because they're somewhat trusted and then the warriors who are fully trusted so he uh it can't send this letter out because they would check it it's you know whatever secrets he is able to gather i, I assume and so he gives it to falco who he tells it's to his family because falco is such a good kid obviously he's going to help him send it to his family he, he's a good kid and he's all happy he turns it into the little box but he it makes sense aaron can't leave the internment zone i just want to like makes a lot of sense i just want to process that you know Tiber's personal guard. Oh my god, this guy's like six foot five. Willie. That's an interesting name. Theo Magath. I didn't know his name was Theo. Oh my god, we got all kinds of Tiber's. We're Tibered out. Good point. It really might not even be here at all. <laughs> Which I've always said, he's the scariest of all the commanders. I don't know that at all. 
マーレ人の戦争とは新聞の活字にのみ存在しない字を読むだけで領土が広がるのだから楽でいい玉が耳の横をかすめる音を聞かせたところでこの国は自戒するまで戦争への歩みを止めないでしょうが I mean, it's a, it's a fair enough strategy. I understand it. I understand the, the reasoning behind that. Because of their whole deal with King Fritz and stuff? Well, not deal, but getting him out of there. So I had to rewatch that. I'm not gonna lie, because I was hoping to be able to process that a little bit better the second time, which you guys have completely said you guys are cool with me pausing it in order for me to process it a little better, because it's better for me to pause it and process it versus me watch it one time through and miss some stuff. So I appreciate you guys immensely on that. But from what I was able to gather, Willie, interesting name, Willie Tiber and Theo Magath, now that we know Commander Magath's first name, uh, he was asking him, I, I hear you're trying to reinstate conscription back into the Marleyan armies which uh, conscription is just like forced enlistment into the war, which um, uh, Magus's response to that was, if our tame devils and captured armies can do, can eat the bullets, the better. One would hope hearing bullets whizzing past your ears would stop the stop the warmongering from the Marleyan people, but it's not. All they want to do is read, you know, that they're winning and read that they're expanding. Like, it's kind of like as a country, they're like narcissistic and just want, you know, constant. They're like the Fire Nation from Avatar Last Airbender, from what I've been able to gather. And so he was saying one would hope that he, them hearing these bullets would stop this war path and stop them from trying to constantly be going to war. But it's too late. He was saying to Willie, he was saying, if there was someone secretly controlling the country, I would tell them it's too late. And then he was like, and then uh, Willie was like, as you're implying, you're right. The Tibers have been controlling this since the beginning, which somewhat makes sense because since the beginning in terms of the seven of the nine titans they had six of them were all under control of the marlene government whereas the tibers have their own mansions their own estate they have their own personal guard and they were the ones who if i remember correctly were the leading force i don't know how it could have been a deal it could have been fighting it could have been something they were the final they were the straw that broke the camel's back in terms of making king fritz go to parody right like he was like the Tibers are the reason, I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, the reason that they actually made the three walls and left. At least they were like one of the big reasons. And so that's why Willie was like, uh, in order for atonement, in order, because they genuinely thought maybe Eldians were wrong as well, um, which I didn't even know about the story Helos. That's interesting. Slain the, the devil of all, like, is that Ymir? Like, he's one of, that's interesting. Um... But I, I definitely wanted to learn more about that. I'm sure I will. There's so much information already in this episode. Um, but because they felt bad for the L, they, they, they gave power and freedom to the Marleans in order for them to have atonement. But they just kept their warmongering path. And so Willie at this next festival is going to unleash the truth, saying that they were instrumental in all this and all this, that and the other. And I don't know what's going to future is going to hold. But oh, my God, did I just talk for a long time? And I hope I process that correctly. I am sorry, guys. You see Falco catching up to Gabby? He's working extra hard. You love to see it. Hey, that's your brother, Cole. Come on, you never know. You never know. Oh, this is where the presentation's gonna be. This could be crazy. That's uh, Udo's big concern. It's been uh, the people thinking against them, hating them. Interesting. Yeah. So it makes sense why that's one of his big concerns is how people see them, you know? I hope so. By being good people, yeah, smile. Yeah, I 
It's so crazy seeing them work together. This is going to be nuts. I'm simply the one who holds the wheel. I'm so curious. Wow. I wonder if he's... Wow. Wow. Good. Keep moving forward. So, multiple letters. So, espionage has been going well. It makes sense. It's been it's obviously a different day. He's been doing this multiple times, you know. Which, shouts out to you guys in the comments reminding me. I was like, did he lose a leg? Oh, no, that's so bad. You, I, I forgot that uh, obviously they can cure. They can regenerate whatever. But it's up to them. And especially... Because we've seen Reiner when he got bit in season two by the Titan. He only cured himself when he was showing off, when he finally transformed. Um, which, the only reason I just thought it would be kind of natural for them to do it automatically is because throughout this show, we've been at the perspective of Eren, who hasn't really been able to control his powers. Not too much until the last season, obviously. But with this being a, a three-year time skip, obviously he's controlled it much better. I should have thought of that. So right now, he's literally just willfully leaving his eye fucked up, leaving his leg off, which at any point he could just regenerate it. So thank you guys for reminding me. Sometimes, a lot of the times, I am an idiot. Thank you guys. <laughs> A doctor is coming. That's not granddad, is it? That's not, there's no way that's granddad. He's wearing an honorary Marleyan thing, which would make sense. Of course, he would know that. He's the father of Grisha. Would make a whole lot of sense why someone would volunteer for this. Especially because they were being sent on the house, but your whole family gets sent, you know. He has I wonder, does he? Little does he know he's speaking to his own fucking grandfather. And Aaron knows this. Because Aaron has all the memories of everything. Oh, that was a picture of Faye and everything and under there. Oh my god. Is he a patient? Not a doctor? Wow, he's going through it. Um, okay. Let's talk about that for a second where that was just insane where Aaron obviously knows because he's been through not only has he read the book of his father he's, he's seen all of his memories and he's seen Kruger's memories and that's just first off crazy that he spoke to his grandfather which I thought his grandfather was a doctor and I thought he was very observant for saying don't do this to Falco don't ask him for favors it would endanger him and his family which makes sense as to why Falco and Colt would specifically be volunteering for this because since their uncle Grice um, got sent to parody as a Eldian restorationalist like their family was going to be persecuted so they said no we will help you we do not agree with uncle Billy Bob Jr. you know so I understand it. it makes a lot of sense and and once Colt became solidified as the beast inheritant um their family became safe and so their a little bit of pressure was lifted off their shoulders but Falco I think that might be why Falco is such a as good a kid as he is because Colt he must have been solidified a few years ago right or at least a little bit ago and then he just had time where he wasn't He's training, just I don't know, but he he's just surprisingly a good kid in my opinion. 
but that just shocked me that Jaeger is a patient right there. And it's just, he was saying, do you have regrets about your family every day? Which I still remember like how I still remember Grisha to this day when his dad was talking to him, like our, our people were horrible. They're devils, you know, like we do not need to be like them. And he was like, but I didn't do any of those things. Me and Faye just walked down to a fucking lake. We did. We just literally walked. We didn't do any of that. Like, and it, it's just, it's crazy. Like I'm literally just, it's crazy. They're going to be waiters. <laughs> Look at the trained waiters of these candidates. Look at them. Oh my god. That's a refill right there. Drink. Go, Gabby, go. Stacking them plates with the balance. Ignore Ud. She is clutch. I don't know who this lady is, but that man Udo could have been hung for something like that. I'm saying, I love this lady. I would have a like a life debt to her. Whatever she needs, she needs anything. She's, whew, I got her. <laughs> So Willie knows a lot of these ambassadors from a lot because they said they have high influence abroad, which means around the world. エルディア人の根絶を願う気持ちはよくわかります。私はこの終わりのない問題に対して一つの回答を導き出しました。その回答を明日私が初演出を務める舞台で披露させていただきます。偉大なる劇作家と歴史の目撃者に。Well, this is the festival, yes. I love the pacing. We're already at the festival. This is the in Liberio internment zone. We're here. Yeah. So we have all sorts of ambassadors from all sorts of nation. Gonna see this first theater production. From Willy, so I'm very interested to see this. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just so immersed right now. They're just loving this. They're just loving the food and everything. Oh my god, that looks delicious. Oh my god, that looks delicious. Oh my god, that looks delicious. We're literally getting all kinds of different nations, huh? The outro is starting right now. Oh, there's got to be an after credit scene or something. There has to be. Oh, we're gonna get after credit scene. Kind of feels like something's about to change. I don't like that Gabby is saying that no matter how food drunk she is right now. And then it cuts to the ending and we're going to have an after credit scene. Guy. Oh. Okay. Wow, this is an actual theater production. Oh, they had so much fun. He saw someone he knew and ran off. There's not many people Falco knows, guys. Falco, what are you doing to this man? Why? No preview for me. Why? Oh man, how I knew that was coming for the ending. I knew it was as soon as Falco. Oh, bro, but why? Like, why? Why is it the fucking twenty seventh and not whatever the next episode day is? I need it the next episode right now. Why? Why, man? I'm so upset. I'm so upset. So much information was dropped in this episode, and I'm sure, and like I said, there was one part I had to rewatch twice. Um, I'm sure while I'm editing this episode, I'm going to be able to pick up a lot more and be able to process and comprehend a lot more. So I'm sure by the time I watch the next episode, this one will have been able to sat in me a little bit more. So I apologize if I misinterpret anything throughout this episode. I am genuinely surprised though at how genuine, I don't think, anything throughout that 
that little drinking celebration, not the drinking celebration, but whatever you would call it, the ceremony. I don't think anything about that was genuine from Willie. Uh, he seems like a, a kind of guy who puts up a facade all the time because he's the head of a very influential. That's what very influential people do. They're, they're actors at the end of the day. You know, they're good at that. I don't necessarily blame him for that. My only thing is he did seem surprisingly genuine when he was talking to Magath, which I wouldn't be shocked if he was genuine because they do seem to have like the low key deal deal like they met secretly they're talking by themselves they have like a plan going you know like he told them like a lot they've 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 shared information i think willie knows that magath is very observant he's like of all and i think they definitely emphasize that this episode now that i'm now that i'm pointing this out to myself especially with how fucking idiotic that that commander was who was talking to reiner he was like uh <laughs> Reiner said, the wharf is in the south, but that's where everything has to come from, so they're less guarded in the north. So he's like, oh, we should come from the north then. He's like, yeah, but all of our people are going to be in the south, so we might want to push the south. He's like, oh, so we should go from the south then. He's like, yeah, but then all the scouts we've sent to the south haven't been coming back. He's like, oh, so what are you trying to say, Reiner? And he's like, I don't know. I'm just I'm just letting, sharing my information with you. You guys are the commanders. You guys come up with the plans. He was like, oh, stupid, letting an Eldian talk. Like, I think they emphasize how idiotic those Marleyans are to to show how smart Magath is and obviously if we're able to see he's smart because we're the audience and we have that we just know shit like that we're the audience you know for Willie to be able to pick that up and I think he's genuine about them working together on the low key low key it means that one he's very smart which has also been backed by him hiding who the Warhammer Titan is. He has fucking 75 kids, 48 family members. It was a fucking old man. It could be him. Right. You know, like, so like, it's just, he's, he's clearly very smart all around, but then he's also ambitious, which I kind of like, which I don't know if I'm supposed to like the Tibers or not right now. You know, I'm sure I just met them, but like, they're interesting to me so far. Only reason I say that is because he was, stressed and he seemed genuine about the pressure of the responsibility that has been put on his shoulders like genuinely he's going to be leading this country to he could be genuinely leading the world to the next evolutionary phase you know like who knows he has the so much power in his hands but he's like i feel the pressure and the stress of this i know why my predecessors never tried to do it but he's also he's doing it you know so i wonder why i want to know more about him if i can i want to know more about helos because it said that tibers worked with helos so obviously i was idiotic thinking that helos killed Ymir. It was more like he he teamed up with a Marleyan. Uh, the Tibers teamed up with a Marleyan during the Great Titan War a um, hundred years ago when Fritz ended up leaving to Parody. So I need to know more about that. I hopefully I do because right now I don't know much. The gist of what I've been able to get is obviously you know Ymir, Eldia, Eldia conquered Marley. They were ruling for thousands of years eventually because there was the nine households right or the the eight other titans besides the founding titan they who like they're like the houses in game of thrones eventually they started squabbling for power and there was a civil war marley took advantage of that civil war and then got seven of the nine titans whereas fritz uh took the founding titan and then the attack titan was hidden you know we don't know but you know with kruger all that we don't, i don't know we don't know how that happened but they left to go to parody obviously and so because of that we don't know like the specifics of that we don't know helos i just i maybe i'm an idiot and i missed them i could totally be an idiot we don't know about the specifics of the tibers but i'm so curious i am so definitely curious um but is there anything else i want to fucking talk about obviously reiner and aaron at the end there bro like i'm Jaeger, I think I talked about extensively in the episode, so I think I'm okay on that. It has to be the Reiner and Aaron thing. I'm just so excited about that. I knew that would, I knew this would happen. I knew this would come. I, especially with, I don't want to say the development Reiner's been going through because it's development he's been going through his life. We're just now being able to see it, but he's definitely over the past few weeks, especially seeing Udo, Colt, Zofia, and Falco, seeing them, he's been able to self-reflect. He's been introspective and been able to. I don't want to say fight some of his demons, but he's been fighting some demons. So I wonder if that's going to give him a change of heart and they're going to be able to have a conversation in the basement or if it's going to be like Aaron and Reiner season two, season three would be and it would be like instantly Aaron. Like, because Aaron's obviously changed. Aaron's a changed man. That man 
is a changed man. I don't know how else to say it. He's, I think he's down to have a conversation. I'm just, I don't know about Reiner. The only reason I say he's a changed man, because season two, Aaron, even if he had no arms and legs, he would be like this. He, if he would see Reiner, he'd be like, Reiner, he'd be trying to bite his stub to try to transform, you know, like he was just so impulsive, so temperamental. But he literally is a different kind of person, so I'm so curious. I love Falco's giddiness. Like, come here, come here, I brought him. Which, Falco, why, like, obviously you have trust, trust in this man. You've been helping him out for a little bit. Why would you bring a higher up to someone who told you he, like, I just don't know. I Obviously, they've been having some deeper conversations. He trusts him, obviously. I just, I... I don't know. I would just be worried, especially because Reiner was the one who called this out a couple episodes ago saying, hey, watch what you do. They will turn your entire family into Titan fodder. I'm so curious. I cannot wait for next episode. I Hopefully I can get this out to you guys real soon. I'm taking forever in editing this. I'll catch you guys soon. Thank you, Dapper Squad. Appreciate the 40K. You guys are beast. Peace out, y'all.